This is New Day Northwest. Now from the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to New Day Northwest. Two of our area's most powerful and beautiful voices are joining forces for a pair of concerts you definitely don't want to miss. Singer-songwriters Whitney Monger and Naomi Wachira are performing at Demetrio's Jazz Alley this week to celebrate the release of Whitney's newest EP called Carry On. We are thrilled to welcome them both, Whitney Monger and Naomi Wachira. It's been 90 days since I've seen the sun Sitting in the rain in the Seattle area Wondering if my bones will ever be warm A thousand more bucks, hey, I'm out that door and I can't take it I've been saving up just to get away. Oh. I feel like the 10 years that I've been here, I want to stay. Yeah, yeah, hey. Looking around, I can't find a single friend. Maybe it's time that I start all over again. I know a place that I can go where I can finally call my own. It's where the sun is always shining. Day and night, day and night. Oh, 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 hey. Eat a glass of lamb. Ain't nobody feeling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The chance that I'm putting out. But I gotta get out I know a place that I can go Where I can finally call my own It's where the sun is always shining Then I then I These people just don't understand Exactly who the hell I am I've always been a star that's shining Then I then I So good, so good. So, um, tell me a little. Come on over here. Oh, scoot, yeah. Scoot, scoot, scoot. You scoot. Go. Somebody's I'll got. Scoot. Yeah, everybody's <laughs> got water because it's early. Yes. yes. So, tell me about the EP. Oh, man, it's amazing. We're doing a show at Jazz Alley. Two yeah. shows on Tuesday and Wednesday, and um, just releasing an album that I've been working on all year. <laughs> so Other than that, record. just you just know. another day. <laughs> you know, just hanging out, not yeah. doing much of anything. How'd you two get together? We, I mean, the music, <laughs> the music Seattle in Seattle, the music scene in Seattle is amazing, and it's pretty small. Um, and I feel like we met a couple years ago, just connecting with other musicians. And oh, it's been like six years. Yeah, and it's we've been, a just while. been really you good friends. So good together. And it's so crazy because we actually just practiced this morning, like 
we never, we she never done here. that song. She never heard We've that never, song. Really. Yeah, no and way. I was just like, I know. Let's do this. I put her on the spot. I was like, you have to sing some confidence too. You know, you can do it. Tell me a bit about your songwriting. I mean, obviously, you mentioned Seattle in the very beginning of that. Um, song, are you inspired by the environment here, the city, the music scene? Yeah, I've been here for 11 years. I'm from Spokane, Washington, and um, well, yeah. over to this side. <laughs> yeah, I know, I love it over here. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very inspiring place. It's been an awesome place to grow as an artist and kind of cultivate who I am right. around all these amazing, talented people. So yeah, Seattle's a huge influence on my writing. It makes a big, big difference. What about you? Um, so I was born and raised in Kenya, but and I've lived here about 11 years, and I think it's been the same thing. Like um, when I moved here, I had no idea of how much um, a music city it was, mm -hmm. um, but it's been like the perfect setup for my career, and I'm really grateful for the opportunities and places like Jazz Alley that invite two local Absolutely. artists mm -hmm. to, you know, showcase our talent and um, and get our names out there. It's right. um, it's such a privilege. So. It makes a big difference. I, I've often wondered if it's partly the weather. You know, we stay indoors, and think <laughs> yes. about things, we write stuff. You know? Yeah, it's beautiful scenery. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous around here. Yeah. yeah. And also the the musicians seem to be so generous. There is so much happening Absolutely. where musicians yeah. care about the environment, helping people in need, et cetera, et cetera. That yeah, and helping each other. Yeah, and helping each other, which yeah. is which is pretty pretty amazing. So what do you love most about her singing and her songwriting? I mean her first of all, her voice is Unbelievable! I feel I like sound I'm just actually, like I'm that just... in my imagination. <laughs> I'm always jealous. She's got like this really raspy kind of thing about her tone that like I wish I had that. But um, and just her songwriting, it's just like it's so much about her life and her struggles, and but also her victories and like and who she is as a, as an artist, as a woman, um, and as a person of color. Like all those things, I feel like are are so crucial to and cathartic in yeah, a lot absolutely. of ways, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and what do you love about Naomi? Oh, she's just got the the voice of an angel. I remember the first time I heard <laughs> you sent me a song on like Craigslist or something from a show I was looking oh, for and I heard your voice and I just stopped me in my tracks and to this day I'm always just like so inspired. Amazing songwriter, amazing spirit, and just have all the things. And it feels like we're, we're hearing more from women um, on solo projects mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm really enjoying that. Yeah. There's so much that um, that I want you guys to say and I want to listen and, and mm -hmm. learn from. What other projects do you have going at this point? Well, I'm currently writing my next um, my next album. Um, a lot of the songs I've written have been about looking out at the world and mm -hmm. sort of like my hopes and desires for society, for people. Yeah. And um, the next project I wanted to sort of be inward, kind of look at my own process, my own journey as I'm a single mother. Um, so talk about like motherhood and like what that's like to pursue my career and also be a mom full time and um, but also as a woman uh, as a woman of color like how how do I show up in the world and still own my space and my place um, and sort of fulfill the calling and the you know the purpose of why I'm I was created so so just a small topic that very <laughs> small topic yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, just, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's wonderful and I think that when that voice is heard when your voice is heard when any of our voices are heard the world gets a little bigger mm -hmm. yeah we you know we and learn. we give people permission to tell their own stories exactly you know yeah. and i think to me like that's the power of what we get to do is that by telling our stories we're telling other people that it's okay to tell your story whatever your story is like mm -hmm. show up and tell it and and i think that's how we heal the world is like when we get to share where we're coming from who we are what we what we've been through and what we're trying to accomplish um, yeah that idea yeah Let's just keep doing it, and I'll keep listening and enjoying yeah. and bopping over here with yes. you guys. <laughs> Whitney and Naomi are performing at Jazz Alley in Seattle tomorrow and Wednesday nights to celebrate the release of Whitney's EP. Hope you can catch them there. We'll have info for you on our website. Still, I had a brand new round of New Day Hot, hot Topics. <clears throat> Not Hot Pockets, Hot Topics. We'll be right back. <laughs> I like